Hey guys, so uh, I'm here covering the ID TechX uh, event uh, at the Santa Clara Convention Center. Uh, it's really good. Uh, they have multiple companies, uh, you know, about I want to say five or six companies directly related to uh, electric vehicles. The company is uh, doing something indirectly related to electric vehicles uh, industry. Hello, my name is Raghu Das and I'm the CEO of ID TechX. ID TechX is a a very unique firm, we're an analyst firm tracking emerging technologies. So we have the excitement of going around the world and seeing what's happening in topics like electric vehicles, energy storage sensors, and we profile company activities. And from that, we build up ideas as to what is the market size, and what are the trends, and what are the different pluses and minuses of the different technologies. We've just held a show called the ID Tech Show here in Santa Clara with three and a half thousand attendees. And the aim of the show was to really bring together some of these emerging technologies with the people that will use them and the organizations that will use them. Some of the topics we've covered, of course, have been electric vehicles. There's going to be incredibly disruptive change in the electric vehicle business. So, for example, governments around the world are setting targets at which points they will ban the cells and internal combustion engines. As a result of that, we're seeing many of the automakers saying when they will start launching a whole range of hybrid or pure EV models, uh, in addition to their existing internal combustion vehicles. But we think that as early as 2022, there will be a peak in sales and internal combustion engines, and thereafter, the main increase in sales of vehicles will be around hybrid and electric vehicles. So it's not a case of if it will happen, it's really when. Um, and that's because the governments are making it happen for a better and greener environment. The one company we met was Zero Motorcycles. Uh, they, uh, they do a lot of, uh, not quite R&D, but uh, design, I should say. And uh, they have good models up and running. They are into this business for 12 years. That's what uh, we heard from uh, the person we spoke to. Sure, Zero Motorcycles has been around since 2006. Oh, okay. yeah. So we've been in mass production since 2008. Uh, we are what we think is the global leaders of high capacity electric motorcycles okay. uh, and we have been making tens of thousands of motorcycles and we've got about 30 million customer miles of data uh, wow. behind our development okay. and uh, we have about eight different motorcycles that are available for sale in the United States, Europe and hopefully someday in India. That's great, That's looking forward to it. So this is the Zero SR. Okay. Uh, it's our flagship street motorcycle. Okay. It's uh, it can go 200 kilometers in a single charge. Okay. Uh, and it'll go uh, over 150 kilometers per hour. Wow. So very powerful, very fast motorcycle. A lot of fun to ride. Uh, here in the U.S., we would call it a street fighter design or in the street fighter category. Okay. Uh, used for enthusiasts, but also used for transportation. A lot of commuters. Uh, very powerful motorcycle, uh, faster than most sports cars uh, okay. from a 0 to 60 speed, uh, and just a, a fun all around motorcycle. Great, great, great to use. And how big is the battery? Uh, so, this battery is 14.4 kilowatt hours of onboard energy. Okay. Uh, Zero has one of, if not the most, energy dense battery uh, in lithium ion anywhere in the world. So our designers, as we were developing our products, we're always working on developing products specifically for our motorcycles. And motorcycles is all about going fast, riding hard, having a great time. A motorcyclist demands very dynamic performance out of their equipment. And so our engineers were required to meet all of those challenges. So we've created batteries that will discharge energy really quickly. We have great energy storage. We also have really high power delivery. So we've developed our own batteries. We've developed our own motors. We have our own vehicle control units. We have our own battery management systems. All of the technology that we use is stuff that we've developed over the last 12 years. Great. These are lovely motorcycles and as you probably know, in India, uh, companies are working but still there is no like very good electric motorcycle uh, on the road as of today. So, what are your plans? Is there any chance of we'll see any anytime these things soon in India? Well, I hope so. Uh, India is a very exciting market to us and I personally think that our electric motorcycle would do really, really well. 
Um, I'd love to see our bikes being distributed in India. I'd also love to see if there were other Indian business partners that had a need for an electric product uh -huh. that was based around some of our powertrain technology. We're waiting for the right partner to come along and take advantage of all this technology and make something that's specific for the Indian market, manufacture it right there, and then be able to distribute it in country. And so that's something that's really important to us. We're working every day, and hopefully in the very near future, we're going to see not only the Zero branded products, but other products that are powered by Zero in India, on the roads, in the near future. That sounds great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for talking to us. We appreciate it. Thanks yes. for visiting us at the show. So there is another company we stopped by. Uh, they, the name of the company was Astrolab Analytics. Um, they have a software that uh, the battery researchers and you know battery uh, uh, manufacturing companies can use to uh, process the data. So if your battery is in the you know diagnostic uh, uh, machine, you are collecting a lot of data, voltage, current, and you know state of the battery. Then uh, uh, the Astrolab software can be used to make a sense out of that information and you know provide you a very good uh, way to do the battery analytics. Uh, another uh, company that we stopped by was Sotera Batteries. They have come up with this new invention that can make batteries significantly safer, lithium-ion batteries. Uh, you know, they have uh, figured out a way to use much less metal in the battery. Here is Brian from Soteria. Hi, Brian. Nice to meet you. Hi, good to meet you. Yeah. yeah so what we're doing is essentially we're taking lithium-ion batteries and taking out 90% of the metal. Instead of using solid foils, we're using metallized film. And what happens is there's enough metal to run the day-to-day -day functions of the battery, but not enough to drive the intense sparks that would light the battery on fire. When that happens, the metal retreats, breaks the short, stops the flow of energy, uh, and you have a safe battery. And, and then the other thing we're doing is we want to make this technology available globally. So we're setting up a consortium in India of the material makers, the battery makers, the vehicle and electronics makers, so that they can make the material, use the material, and put it into devices all inside of India without having to import anything or export anything, although it's allowed. Uh, so we want to make it theirs. The second thing worth checking out was the Bizlink stall. Uh, we checked out, they have this nice portable charger about, I want to say, $380 for, uh, uh, on Amazon. Uh, if you want to buy. Hello, my name is Kay. So, uh, Buzzlink has been uh, in Fremont, California over 22 years. So, we are not just doing automotive, but IT industry. We also have a solar uh, sales team uh, in India. So, yeah, feel free to check our website and you can learn more and feel free to contact us. Thank you. What you can see here is a uh, um, portable EV charger yep. and your um, electrical vehicle is low battery. You can plug this to your wall directly and use the gun to plug into your car. So you can charge, um, let's take the example, like Nissan Leaf, uh, charge from uh, to 20% uh, to 100% is about 4 hours. So SE, SA standard is for the uh, United States market yep. and the IEC is for the Euro. And GB is for China market. Another stall we stopped by, uh, the company was Arkex and they again make these modules they say will be used by OEMs in the uh, electric vehicles industry. Yeah, so what we do is we build uh, components for EV startups uh, and help them integrate all the components together. So we do dash cluster controls and uh, body control modules such as light control, reverse cameras, and we integrate all that information together and display it all on the screen for the operator, for the user. I see, okay. So this is like uh, the auxiliary components uh, apart from the drivetrain? Yes. The supporting system? Yes. This basically takes all that information from those systems, displays it to the user, so uh -huh. they know you know how much battery life they have left in their in their system or you know how fast they're driving, and we relate all that together. We have the yellow car there, which was produced roughly 10 years ago, and uh, it was the first one that was fully electric. The the whole system was uh, custom made. Uh, the most recent project is the Bison project right there, which is the blue truck, uh, where we've done all the electronics uh, outside of the battery and the control module in it. 
and that one hopefully will go to production soon. And then as a fun project, we did this Rausch and Lang in the middle there. It was actually produced in like 1914 and it was an electric car back then, uh, which we just modernized it so that it has now a 100k range. So it's a, it's a good little pet project that we've done in the past. So what is the status of your company? Are you a startup that is, you know, in um, prototyping stage or do you have these products out right now? We have them in a couple of vehicles uh, for different customers. Uh, none have gone to mass production, but we hope they'll in a year or two. And in addition, we talked to ID Tech X team, uh, very delightful, very uh, good team to talk to. Uh, what we find interesting is that when we came here, we expected this to be just another event, you know, just like an exhibition or trade show where you just meet people and networking is the primary goal. Uh, what we found was uh, they have really good content. You know, their talks and presentations are really good and ID TechX is not just uh, engaged in uh, organizing events but they also do a lot of consultancy, market research, analytics and things like that and uh, it looks like a very interesting um, company and uh, if we get a chance next time we would love to attend this event again.